On Thursday, the late-night host jumped right into reacting to President Donald Trump's tweet in which he disputed Puerto Rico's official Hurricane Maria death toll. Earlier in the day, Trump claimed 3,000 people did not die in the two hurricanes that hit Puerto Rico and suggested that the death count had been inflated by Democrats in order to make me look bad. It would seem Trump was referring to an independent study conducted by the Milken Institute School of Public Health at George Washington University, which found that many more people had perished in the aftermath of the hurricane than initially calculated. That study prompted Puerto Rico's governor to raise the death count from 64 to 2,795. On Comedy Central's The Daily Show, Trevor Noah made light of the hurricane tweets, joking, After all the beef Trump has had, I feel like it was only a matter of time before he started a fight with dead people. Noah also played reactions of politicians across the political spectrum before noting, So now, America isn't just dealing with Hurricane Florence, it also has to deal with Shitstorm Donald. On CBS's Late Show, Stephen Colbert began his monologue by saying, President Trump has been laser focused on hurricane response this week, just not this one. The visibly incensed host then proceeded to add, I just want to state not only is this a sickening tweet, it is in no way true. After mentioning George Washington University's study, Colbert said it had been pushed out of the front pages because of all the other bad news about Donald Trump. Then he brought it up again. It's kind of like he was on trial for littering and said on the stand, I only threw that cup out of my window because I was distracted by the homeless man I ran over. <laughs> Over on NBC's late night, Seth Meyers called the president deranged for his tweets. That's the official death toll, you lunatic, he said. Now we know why he's so orange. His brain is just melted pumpkin guts. Meyers then took things one step further, saying, we don't need an anonymous op-ed to tell us that the president is a narcissist who peddles one conspiracy theory after another. The late night host then noted several examples, including the conspiracy that former President Barack Obama was not born in America, that three million people voted illegally in the last election, and that Muslims celebrated on 9-11. Then, referring to viral images of Trump looking directly into the sun during last year's solar eclipse, Myers joked, and thinks you get superpowers from staring directly into the sun. May the power of the sky lamp fill my muscles. And finally, on ABC's Live, host Jimmy Kimmel said of the tweets, just when you think Trump can't go any lower, he enters a limbo contest and wins. After also referencing George Washington University's study and its estimate of the death toll, Kimmel had some fun with the university's name. But you know how George Washington is always trying to make himself look like a better president than Donald Trump. He's jealous, that's what he is. To watch full clips of the late night host reacting to Donald Trump's tweets about the Hurricane Maria death toll, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.